joining and happy Friday! We're doing some tiling uh, yet again. So if you've been following, yesterday or the day before we made some white subway tile. So we got all our subway tile installed, we got our built-ins done, and it's ready for grout after it's cleaned. And then also we got this side done, looks good, it's nice and shiny. So I'm going to show you how to install a natural stone accent wall. So as you can see, we mixed the modern subway tile in with the natural stone, and then that's actually a seat. So thank you all for joining, and happy Friday! So my name is Brian McGee, home improvement expert, and I've been creating and customizing homes for 15 years now. So today, I'm going to show you how to do a natural stone accent wall in your shower. So we already got our hardy board up, so you want a good solid cement surface like hardy board and this gives something for the sun set to stick to. And then also you're going to need a trowel with about a quarter inch notches. And then you'll need some inset and then use some natural stone. Hello Andrea TV, thank you for joining. Hello Scuba35, thank you for joining. So we're going to take this awesome natural stone and stick it to the wall. Hello, Moo315! So as you can see, we got our thin set, we got all our joints covered. So before you apply your thin set to the wall, Hello, Davey2! Thank you for joining me. So before you apply your thin set to the wall, it's a good idea to get the surface nice and wet. And then this makes it so, Hello! Thank you for joining, Davey! So you're going to want to get the hardy board or the cement board wet before you get your thin set applied to it. So this will get any dust or any kind of particles off your wall so that way once you have the particles off your wall your thin set can soak in and give you a nice strong hold so that way you don't have to replace the tile later. And also we're going to do a sweet accent tile in the built-ins. So whenever you're doing a clear accent tile like this you're going to have to use a white grout or else it's going to show through the clear tile. So don't use a dark gray grout. You're going to want to use a white grout so it doesn't show through. So that's going to look pretty sweet. Hello, 40 Creek. Thank you for joining. And thank you for the hearts. Don't forget to share this since I have locations off. All right. So once you have your wall all wet, you're going to want to apply a nice heavy coat of thin set. Because the problem with natural stone is the backs are all uneven and they have rough edges. So I'll show you a special trick that I learned about mudding in with natural stone. So I find it's easier to get your section all thin set at first. And your goal is just to get a nice, even, consistent texture. And if you're doing a shower wall, we just did the accent wall using strong glue, expensive, missed the rest. Yes. But yeah, we're just using the latex mortified mortar. And it works out pretty good. And you're pretty much just going to want to take your stone and you're going to get it to the area that you want. And the key is to make sure your joints are pretty far and separated. Because if you have them too close together, they're going to channel water and then that's going to get behind your wall and it could cause these to loosen up over time. So it's always good to space them out and just use a smaller one because these come into various sizes so that way you can get everything separated. So you're going to want to take a little bit of mud and then you're going to treat this like a brick and just slide it down the edge. Glue versus mortar. I find I can trust mortar a lot more than glue. Glue's very nice, but it's also very sticky where mortar's easier to clean stuff off. And I just feel it gives you a stronger hold. So afterwards, you're going to want to butter the edges. And then this helps create the suction to keep the natural stone on the wall. So you're going to want to line this up. And then start applying pressure. And the key is to move everything side to side. And then you'll see up top here that it will start to bubble out. And then that way you know you have a good strong seal and then that way you can move along. And the great thing about the natural stone is that it's impossible to mess it up. Like no matter what you do, it's going to look sweet and nobody's going to notice. So afterwards, you got your wand down and then you'll just continue throughout the whole shower and just try to keep all your spacing separate. 
So you can get really artistic with this and have a lot of fun and just kind of design your wall as you go. And afterwards, you see we got all that glob of stuff. You're gonna wanna take your finger and get that out of there and just put it back in your bucket. And then that way it won't squeeze out the front of the tile because the problem with natural stone is you can see all these little gray spots. They take forever to clean out. So afterwards, after we get this whole tile wall down, we're gonna take a nice high gloss wet sealer and that will give it a sweet look. So once they light up the shower, it's gonna look really cool to have the water coming down the wall and it's gonna look like a natural waterfall. Oh yes, I am pumped about this shower. How did, uh, how did you do the round cement board? Oh, that is a tricky. Could you hold the camera, sir? So right here, I took the cement board and I pre-cut out my framing. Right behind here is a two by six and I used a five gallon bucket and I traced that into the, the two by four. I used my jigsaw and I cut it. So once I got my curve in there, this is actually ice and water shield. So I, you know how ice and water shields got the shingle texture on the one side and then the back side sticky. And then I worked it to my edge and then I stapled it to the wood and then I sealed everything with the, the kerf board tape, that orange tape. So that way it gave me a nice curve because if you try to do it with cement board, cement board just keeps cracking and cracking. Some construction say sealer, sealer is client responsibility. Well, yes, it is client responsibility, but they specially asked for this sealer ahead of time, so I have no problem adding it. Alrighty, so thank you all for joining. And anybody like the theme music? I made it just for you guys. It's my new home improvement music. Because Tim Allen had home improvement music, and <laughs> Mike Holmes had home improvement music, so I made my own. <laughs> Alright, so happy Friday, and thank you all for joining, and I will see you tomorrow when we'll probably, maybe, put in a pebble stone floor or maybe I'll do it later today. So thank you all for joining and I will see you later or tomorrow with another home improvement tip. Great energy, thank you for the steam. You're amazing, thank you. And also, if you find me interesting, you can also go to brandonmcgee.tv and I have a whole bunch of videos from home improvements to, what's my car show? Fast and Awesome to Entrepreneur ADD where I pretty much just love making videos teaching people how to improve their lives. And also, you can sign up, Brent McGee forward slash tools, and I created the 15 tools you need before you remodel. So that way, when you get into your remodeling project, you'll have all the right tools and you won't be scared to start. So thank you all for joining, and tomorrow I will show you this wall the whole way up. Oh yes! So thank you all for joining, and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to hit the number to follow, and don't forget to share with your friends so I can teach them how to improve their home. Alright, thank you all for watching, and you're awesome.